Now, African dance, um, you're doing, you started well with it, but unfortunately you hadn't quite read the ending of the first line in the left hand quite correctly. Um, so let's just look at that last chord in that last bar. So it's E, G and C, okay, with four, two and one, which on to the next line moves to D, F and A. That's a D minor chord. You can hear the minor sound as opposed to major. That's the minor sound. Five, three and one. So that chord to that chord, I think you need to practice it like this, go backwards and forwards a few times till you've got that. Then it's a staccato chord onto the D minor chord as well. Then you could go back just one bar and play from the F A C chord, which is tied. So it's one, two, three, four, tied. One, two, three. Then you have to shift the hand. So that is a little bit tricky to go from that to that. Okay, it's a bit of a shift in the hand. Um, so you will need to just re revisit that and get that. Then you can put both hands together. The other chord that wasn't quite right was the chord here in the right hand, at beginning of bar five. I can't remember what you did now, but it's F and A with one and two, but I put a ring around it. So obviously something wasn't quite right. So just before that, you play the B flat quavers. So I think you were moving your second finger. Are you doing that, maybe? But you don't need to move anything because the second finger's already on A all the way through the first line. So there's no reason to move it just to play that chord. And it also then sets you up for the next chord on that line because the thumb needs to stay on F. And they're the next two chords you're going to learn this week in the right hand. That's B, uh, sorry, not B, F, B flat, D, one, three, five, which is staccato. And then again, if you use the fingers in between, one, two, and four, it fits quite well on the F, the A, and the C. So don't move your fingers, just use the fingers that are already there, okay? Um, then we're putting hands together on the first line. So I'm going to play that. I've just added, which if you can make sure you've got in your music, staccatos there and a break. And the same thing on the second line with the left hand. Staccatos on those crotchets, break before you play the quavers. Okay, so that's a pattern you need to follow through in this music. So let's take the first line just into bar five as well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. left hand okay so practice that hands together up to that point um okay with the staccato and the breaks and things like that then the left hand on the second line is very similar to the first line in the right hand staccato then the b flat f that's low f come back up to the d staccato then up to the a and finish on the f minim in bar nine. So let's do all that left hand again from where it comes in with the quavers. Wait, staccato, F, back up to the D, hold, staccato, up to the A, and the F finish, okay? So just up to there.